Eggs have been enjoying a comeback. While eating them every day can have a lot of positive benefits for your health, there are a few things to keep in mind. Here we give you a better understanding of what happens to your body when you eat eggs every day. The reason people shied away from eating whole eggs for so many years was the mistaken belief that dietary cholesterol had a significant impact on blood cholesterol levels. It is true that eggs are high in dietary cholesterol, as a study in the Canadian Journal of Cardiology revealed. For years, government guidelines cautioned against consuming too much dietary cholesterol, even though scientific evidence was pretty clear on the matter. In 1965, a paper published in Metabolism concluded that, for the purpose of controlling the serum level, dietary cholesterol should not be completely ignored, but attention to this factor alone accomplishes little. The researchers found that reducing dietary cholesterol by 50% only dropped blood cholesterol levels by about 7 mg per deciliter. Research published in Current Opinion in Clinical Nutrition and Metabolic Care in 2006 concluded that for about 70% of people, eating eggs and other sources of dietary cholesterol has little to no impact on blood cholesterol levels. For the other 30%, LDL, or what's considered bad cholesterol, may go up significantly, but so does HDL, the good cholesterol, which balances things out. Not only can you stop worrying your morning omelet will lead to a heart attack, but one type of egg may even help lower your triglycerides, a type of fat circulating in your body that has strong links to heart disease and stroke risk. Omega-3 eggs come from chickens whose feed has been enriched with omega-3 supplements, such as flaxseed or fish oil. A 2007 study in Nutrition, Metabolism, and Cardiovascular Diseases noted that when chickens ate a feed that contained supplemental tuna oil, their eggs contained nine times the amount of omega-3s as regular chicken eggs. <laughs> How can idiots say there's no God when a species that evolved from dinosaurs feeds us their unfertilized babies? In the experiment, participants who consumed enriched eggs experienced a 16 to 18 percent decrease in their triglyceride levels. Omega-3 eggs are pricier, but if you're trying to lower your triglyceride levels, the extra cost may be worth it. You'll probably be able to skip your mid-morning snack if you include a few eggs with breakfast. That's because eggs are high in protein, containing 6 to 8 grams per egg. Compared to its macronutrient cousins, carbs and fats, protein is the most filling, according to the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. As part of a study published in the European Journal of Clinical Nutrition, researchers gave participants 240 calorie servings of 38 common foods and then tracked how satiated individuals felt and how much food they ate later in the day. The study authors ranked the foods using white bread as a reference point. Eggs ranked 150% more filling than white bread. Because eggs are so filling, they may assist with weight loss. In a study for the Journal of the American College of Nutrition, overweight women consumed an equal amount of either a bagel or eggs for breakfast. The researchers tracked how much food participants ate for 36 hours after the meal and had participants fill out questionnaires regarding food cravings and feelings of fullness. Compared to those who ate bagels, the egg-eating group felt more satiated after breakfast and ate fewer calories overall during the 36-hour window. The protein in eggs helps build and maintain muscle, so they're a great snack option post-workout. But protein performs many other important functions in the body as well. Harvard Health revealed, you need it to put meat on your bones and to make hair, blood, connective tissue, antibodies, enzymes, and more. Although people tend to assume all the protein in an egg is in the white, that's not the case. In fact, according to the Encyclopedia of Food Chemistry, 50% of the protein is in the white, 40% is in the yolk, and the remaining 10% is in the shell and membrane lining the shell. When it comes to protein, eggs offer both quantity and quality. A single egg contains 6 to 8 grams of protein and includes all the essential amino acids in the proper proportion. The proteins in eggs have the highest digestibility of any food, meaning our bodies can actually absorb and use a very high percentage of the protein in eggs, according to the Journal of Nutrition. Swapping out your morning pancakes or sugary cereal for a plate of eggs could help you better manage your blood sugar levels, whether you're diabetic or not. In a 2018 study published in Food and Function, overweight and obese individuals with either pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes were given either one egg or an equal amount of egg substitute daily for 12 weeks. At the end of the study, the egg group's fasting glucose levels had dropped an average of 4.4% 
and markers for insulin sensitivity had also improved. If you're eating only egg whites rather than whole eggs, you may not get these benefits. According to research published in the Annals of Nutrition and Metabolism, it was found that eating egg yolks or whole eggs reduced post-meal spikes in both glucose and insulin in non-diabetic participants. Nevertheless, many experts recommend diabetics to limit their egg consumption to three per week. Move over, carrots. Eggs may be the key to safeguarding the health of your eyes. That's because they contain lutein and zeaxanthin, antioxidants essential for good vision. These two compounds protect the eyes against damage from ultraviolet light. They may also help prevent macular degeneration and other age-related eye conditions. Individuals with higher levels of lutein and zeaxanthin in their eyes tend to have better vision, especially at night. Like most of the other nutrients found in eggs, lutein and zeaxanthin are concentrated in the yolk. In an interview with News Medical, Dr. Jeffrey Blumberg, a professor at the Friedman School of Nutrition Science and Policy at Tufts University, noted, one egg yolk provides approximately 200 micrograms of lutein, and lutein in eggs is 200 to 300% more bioavailable than vegetable sources of lutein. This is because, unlike vegetables, eggs provide these antioxidants in a fat form, which is easier for our bodies to process. As many as 41.6% of Americans may be vitamin D deficient, according to a study in nutrition research. Although we often think of vitamin D as the sunshine vitamin, it's also present in some foods, especially fatty fish. The yolks of regular eggs have a small amount of vitamin D, approximately 1.1 micrograms. But when chickens are fed a diet supplemented with vitamin D, the vitamin D levels in their eggs increase substantially. Hens that are able to roam outside in the sun also produce eggs with higher vitamin D levels. Make a dozen of these on the weekend. Okay. Pa package them up, put them in the fridge. When you run out of the house in the morning, grab them and off you go and it's your snack for the day. According to a nutrition study, the eggs of pasture-raised chickens had three to four times the vitamin D levels of eggs from chickens kept indoors. If you're looking for eggs from pasture-raised hens, you'll need to read nutrition labels carefully. Terms like cage-free and free-range might not mean what you think they do. Eggs are a great source of choline, which plays an important role in brain health. According to Harvard Health Letter, choline assists with the creation and release of a protein called acetylcholine. Acetylcholine conducts signals between neurons and plays an important role in cognition and memory. In fact, individuals with Alzheimer's disease have lower levels of acetylcholine in their brains, and medications to treat the early stages of the condition work by blocking the enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine. The National Institutes of Health, or NIH, recommends adult men get 550 milligrams of choline a day, while non-pregnant women need 425 milligrams. While beef liver is the best dietary source of choline, eggs are another option. One egg provides approximately 147 milligrams of choline, which resides in the yolk. In addition to safeguarding your mental faculties, choline in eggs may also help protect against anxiety and depression. According to the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation, depression may be caused by low levels of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter created from choline that carries signals between brain cells. This theory goes against the long-standing belief that depression is the result of low levels of a different brain chemical, serotonin. Antidepressants focus on raising serotonin levels, but increasing acetylcholine levels may be something that's needed. As neuroscientist Marina R. Picciotto explained, serotonin may be treating the problem, but acetylcholine disruption may be a primary cause of depression. If we can treat the root cause, perhaps we can get a better response from the patient. Eating more choline-rich eggs could give your body the raw materials it needs to produce more acetylcholine. And in turn, this could help treat or reduce the risk of both depression and anxiety. Is your morning scramble increasing your cancer risk? According to a study published in the Asian Pacific Journal of Cancer Prevention, those who ate the most eggs had significantly increased risk for certain cancers when compared to those who ate the fewest eggs. Egg fanatics were 2.86 times more likely to get breast cancer, 2.23 times more likely to get bladder cancer, and 2.02 times more likely to get oral and throat cancers. They were also found to be at an increased risk for prostate, GI tract, colorectal, and lung cancers. Overall, the people who ate the most eggs were 1.71 times more likely to have some form of cancer than those who ate the fewest. 
While those numbers may sound alarming, it's important to remember that correlation doesn't necessarily equal causation. The eggs themselves may have a direct impact on cancer risk, or it may be that those who eat the most eggs are simply more likely to have other risk factors for cancer. What we've come to appreciate is that the amount of cholesterol in an egg has been reduced by about 50% over the course of the last 30 to 40 years. You may think that an egg is an egg, but preparation method matters. Although consuming raw eggs as part of a protein shake is something we normally associate with hardcore bodybuilders, the protein in raw eggs isn't as digestible as cooked egg protein. One study found that while individuals could absorb 94% of the protein in cooked eggs, they could only digest 74% of the protein in raw eggs. That's because heat helps break down proteins, essentially beginning the digestion process before the food even enters our mouths. Nevertheless, heating does destroy certain nutrients. As studies have shown, cooking eggs reduces vitamin A content by 17 to 20 percent. Baking eggs in the oven for 40 minutes or longer reduces vitamin D to just 39 to 45 percent of its original level. Boiling eggs can reduce their lutein and zeaxanthin content by 22.5 percent, while microwaving causes a 16.7 percent reduction. Perhaps you enjoy authentic Caesar salad dressing or the occasional bite of cookie dough. Or maybe you simply prefer eggs with a runny yolk. If you eat raw eggs or even undercooked eggs, however, you could be putting yourself at risk for serious foodborne illness. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, salmonella infection from eggs can cause diarrhea, vomiting, fever, and abdominal pain. These symptoms usually last four to seven days. Individuals younger than five, older than 65, or immunocompromised are at greater risk for severe, even life-threatening illness. Fortunately, salmonella contamination is relatively rare, affecting approximately 1 in 10,000 to 20,000 eggs, according to Benjamin Chapman, associate professor and food safety specialist at North Carolina State University. If a chicken's ovaries are infected with salmonella, the bacteria can enter the egg as it's being formed. Salmonella-containing droppings can also contaminate the shell once the egg has been laid. To avoid salmonella, the CDC recommends cooking eggs until both the white and yolk are firm. If you have an egg allergy or egg sensitivity, it's important to avoid eggs in all forms. Individuals who are allergic to eggs have an adverse immune response to the proteins in the whites and or yolk, according to the American College of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Symptoms can include GI upset, hives, swelling in the mouth and tongue, shortness of breath, and wheezing. In some cases, severe reactions can lead to life-threatening anaphylaxis. While 2% of children are thought to be allergic to eggs, 70% will outgrow the condition by their mid-teens. Even so, WebMD estimates that 2 million American adults are allergic to eggs. It's also possible to be egg intolerant. As with other food sensitivities, Egg intolerance doesn't involve the immune system like a food allergy does, according to Healthline. Symptoms are usually confined to the GI tract and include abdominal pain, bloating, cramps, diarrhea, nausea, and vomiting. While food allergy symptoms tend to occur immediately after eating the problematic food, symptoms of an egg intolerance may take hours or even days to appear. If you're getting bored with your run-of-the-mill chicken eggs, consider switching things up and trying duck eggs. Duck eggs may sound exotic, but they're easier to find than you may think. Check farmers markets, gourmet grocery stores like Whole Foods, and Asian supermarkets. Duck eggs are bigger than chicken eggs. Total cost per meal, however, is likely to be similar. You can use them any place you'd use a regular chicken egg, but you may need to adjust proportions. Compared to a chicken egg, a duck egg has 2 more grams of protein, 7.5 more grams of fat, and 74 additional calories, according to Healthline. It has less choline, but more folate, iron, selenium, and vitamin A. And even if you're allergic or sensitive to chicken eggs, you'll most likely be able to safely consume duck eggs, because many of the proteins they contain are different. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Health Digest videos about your favorite food facts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.